And uh, now it's time for your chosen valedictorian speaker. Can I please ask uh, Carolyn Eichhofer to come forward and give your valedictorian speech? I was planning not to cry, but you made it very difficult, Gonzalo. <laughs> dear Dean Mihoff, dear Dean uh, Pyre, dear Mr. Wehrmann, dear Min, dear faculty and staff, dear family and friends, and most importantly, dear friends, the class of December 2019. <laughs> when you decide to come to INSERT, you come here to better yourself. You're usually already a top performer, highly educated, suited up, and earning well. So why do you choose to come to INSEAD? Because you want to become even better. Pivot your career, optimize your leadership skills, develop your business, perfect your life choices, become better, and be perfect. However, today I don't want to, be t today I don't want to talk about being perfect. Today, I want to talk about not being perfect. A distinct feature about INSEAD is diversity. Our cohort alone consists of 71 different students from 71 different countries across the globe. My name is Carolyn. I'm German. So I warn you up front, in line with all the cliches, this is not going to be a funny speech. <laughs> Through, throughout the year, I have asked a lot of students what they learned at INSEAD. Let me reflect on three things that I have learned. Three. Dear consultants, I hope you're proud of me. But they're of different lengths and not messy. Sorry for that. Learning number one. It is OK not to be perfect. When I started writing this speech, I watched a lot of the past valedictorian videos for inspiration. And then I got very worried. What if I'm not as funny as the previous speakers? What if I'm not as eloquent? What if my speech will be very boring? Should I talk about me, me, or about you, or about great philosophical writers? And then I realized that at the end of the MBA at INSEAD, I should know better. After a year in this place, after a year with you all, I should know that there's no other option than just being myself. Things were very different at the beginning of INSEAD. I came to Fonti campus on a gloomy day in January one of the most glorious business schools in the world. It was just very gray and very cold. The first week was very confusing. Everybody kept talking about clubs and industry treks, and it took me some days to figure out that treks had nothing to do with hiking. <laughs> True story. <laughs> when you switch on Telegram, you are bombarded with 360 messages per hour, and you still do not know about the most important event happening. We were told that blah, blah, kai exercise was not mandatory, but I, was I the only one not doing it? The second week was even more overwhelming. When you come to INSEAD, you have been to, in a successful professional life. You had it all figured out. And then you come here, and grown-ups behave very much like teenagers again. We start in launch week with a personal coaching session on Sunday, January 10th. As for my group, an Uzbek, a Chinese, a Brazilian and a, can a Canadian girl, and me, the German. A, this is crazy. When in life will you ever have this multinational group again? And B, I scared them. The Uzbek started by saying that he might not be so interested in group work and pull out if it gets too annoying. I started by explaining that I get a wrinkle on my face when I'm concentrated, and that I make a very straight face when I'm being sarcastic. So the Uzbek scared me, I scared the Canadian, and we were all quite awkward. And my coach told me right away, during the individual coaching session, how the other students thought about me. There's a rumor about these sessions. A lot of people cry. But after the day of coaching sessions, apparently no one was crying, or at least didn't want to admit it. I can tell you how I was crying that afternoon during the individual session. It was scary to be here. It was scary to be new to everyone, being judged by everyone, and trying to make new friends. We started P1, and our group nested their way through homework and presentations. 
Whilst the, you juggle the workload of academics, you fight every day with yourself which party you should attend. Because of course, the best party is always the one you don't go to. You stress over which clubs events you need to be at, which trips to book, and whose friends to be. If you want to do everything that is possible at INSEAD, you need a day that had at least 48 hours. We completed the first bunch of exams and sailed straight into P2, where you already had to figure out your career choices for internship recruiting. My group met every Monday to figure out the plan for assignments and to catch up about life. We started to know each other better. One day, during another coaching session, the Canadian suggested to share something personal about ourselves. We went around the table, and each of us told something very personal from our past or about ourselves. You guessed it already. Yes, I cried. But as we shared some of our fears or sorrows or regrets, we also became incredibly fond and close with each other. During the first weeks at INSEAD, you try to be perfect. You want to impress people. You want to be cool. You want to live up to all your own expectations. Today, my group still thinks that I can be very, journey, very German and annoying at times. Our friend, the Uzbek, in reality, had every assignment done, but we still make fun about his English pronunciation. And we do always support each other. So in the end, I learned that you can be both. You can cry, and you can be funny. You can be annoying, and you can be friends. You can be insecure, and you can be strong. And it is OK to be both. The story about my group is just one example of the different groups, experiences, and learnings that we made together. As we moved to the summer and became the older generation on campus, we also started realizing that INSEAD isn't always perfect. But the beauty about INSEAD is not that it's the perfect place. The beauty about INSEAD is that you learn that it's OK not to be perfect. It's even better than being perfect. INSEAD gives you a, pl a place to explore your goals, to challenge yourself, to try out what, what you do and what you don't like, to learn new things, and to reflect on old things. At INSEAD, you are surrounded by students that are like you in many very ways, but also very different in a lot of other ways. Throughout the year, they become your friends, your companions, who have fun with you, but more importantly, who help you to grow, who help you when you are down, and understand your worries, but also inspire and push you to new heights, and to encourage you to find out who you are and how to be yourself. Learning number two. The limits of what is possible for you to achieve are mostly in your own head. I think I've talked enough about me, so let's talk about some other beautiful, imperfect friends and classmates. As I was worried that I'm not so funny, I asked other students for funny things that happened this year. Unfortunately, most of the students, most of the stories that came up included nudity, nudity or substances, so I can't share them here today, for obvious reasons. But we collectively also have a ton of very impressive stories to tell. We have a student who was probably making buckets of money, wearing suits every day, during his 100-hour week with a highly reputed job, he decided to leave this life behind and to join an NGO which is helping education in Latin America instead. We have more than one student who not only completed her MBA, but also managed to raise her daughter while she was studying with us. She was breastfeeding in the breaks. She was certainly getting less sleep than us, despite the parties. She had to fight against the prejudices and still had to complete all the work we had to do. We also have students who decided to come out for the first time with their sexual orientation and finally felt safe enough to be who they are. We have a lot of kick-ass women who are fighting throughout the year to improve the opportunities for women in business, organize multiple conferences and discussion rounds to make all of us aware of the challenges that women still face when making a career. Other students have just inspired us because of the energy they bring to campus every day. Some were doing dance trainings for grad trip, even if everyone else was chilling at the bar. They go on every single trip, every party, live life to the fullest, and still perform in class. It was also impressive how students prepared for interviews and helped others who were competing for the same job, 
It inspires me how kind and genuine they are with every one of us equally. Through all these students, I have learned that the limits of what is possible are very much in your own head. It's not that everything that you want in life will happen automatically or be served on a silver spoon, but there's a lot more that you can achieve than what you think. Seeing these individuals around us inspires us, motivates us. It doesn't mean that we should be like them, but it makes us realize that you can do what you want to do if you just do it. Focus, fight, insist, relax, persevere. Learning number three. We need to make a difference. INSEAD is not only a place where you learn about yourself. You also learn about other cultures and about challenges in society that deserve a better solution. Dean Mihoff already uh, referred to some of them. During this year, we have spoken a lot about recent challenges. We argued about inclusion of different ethnicities, religions, viewpoints, or sexual orientation. We are fighting for the rights of students of all color, for equal opportunities for women, for inclusion of the LGBT community. We discussed the humongous challenge of climate change, but have we done enough? We have also seen that it takes a lot more effort and courage to change your own behavior. For example, our CO2 emissions from this year, jet-setting the world, might outsize those of a small country. We lost a bunch of plastic into the ocean when celebrating in the base of Thailand. Or do you remember the simulation we played in P3 political economy about polluting a lake with industrial fuel? How many of us really managed not to pollute the lake and accept less money? With all the good intention and values we talk about, when it comes to changing your own behavior, that is a whole nother mission. But at INSEAD, I have met an incredible amount of positive, genuine, enthusiastic, motivated, and inspiring minds from across the world who strive to make a difference. We have started to contribute our part. Let us continue that path. You might think that you're marginal and that one alone cannot change much. You might think the problem is just too big to, solve, to be solved. But this year has also taught me that we are a huge and very powerful family of future business leaders. This is not to sound arrogant, but if we don't go out and make the difference, there's not so many people left out there who will do it. Be it inclusion that you believe in, be it gender equality, or be it climate change. Do not stop to fight for what you believe in. Do not stop to challenge your environment and the assumptions. Do not be afraid to speak up and to be the first one to do so. Do not stop to be the imperfect, perfect version of yourself and make the world a better place. As George Dorios, the founder of INSEAD said, without action, the world would still be an idea. What you've learned at INSEAD is very personal and individual. Your takeaways might differ from mine. Maybe you learned something about who you are, or who you would like to be. Maybe you learned something about your passions or about your partnership, or maybe you even met a new partner. Maybe you learned something about your goals and what, you what, you would like to cha what change you would like to make. INSEAD has given us a lot of courage to go a new path and to fight for what we believe is important. As we go back to real life and into our everyday routine, chances are that the excitement and the energy of this year will slowly fade. As we graduate today, my wish for you is that you keep the INSEAD spirit and your personal goals lively, that you keep in mind what you wanted to achieve and that you keep realizing it, that you surround yourself with people who challenge you and that you challenge them, that you keep the positive energy and the spirit of change that we felt this year and that you use it for the better. The family of 19D will be there to support you. Thank you very much. Thank you.